Hello, today I'm going to be talking about how I use this bad boy. This is the unofficial <laughs> Anki remote that a lot of med students use and I'm just going to tell you how I set it up, how I hold it, how I use it, and yeah. This is for specifically on King version 13? 12? I'll put on the screen. The latest version of Anki that has like the reveal toggle option for Onking, so I just started to realize that there was no button for that on my remote and it was really annoying to have to click through it with my mouse, so I created a little setup to click through it very easily on her. Oh, all right, let's get into it. Okay, first I am straight up cleaning this thing because I've realized I haven't cleaned it in so long and it's going to look disgusting on camera, so one moment. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it on first. I'm gonna click the right start button and the right trigger button at the same time once. And that should get it flashing. And then once it turns off and it's just flashing kind of incrementally, I'm gonna try and put it in Bluetooth pairing mode, which is by holding down select. So now it's blinking nonstop. So it should show up. So it's searching. Okay, there it is. So it's a game pad. So I'm gonna connect to it. And usually it takes, oh, I was gonna say it takes a bit of time, but it connected right away. And now you can see that it is a solid blue. So it is connected. So that was just to get it connected to your computer. So the next step is to map all the buttons. So next you're gonna download this application. It's called Carabiner Elements. This is for Mac users. If you have a PC, there is a different site for mapping. I used to have a PC so I can try and find it. Um, and link it, but um, this is the one I'm using for Mac so far right now. Um, so you're just gonna download it and then it's gonna download um, two different apps. So it's gonna download this event viewer and then the elements viewer or elements. And elements is gonna be the one that we're gonna be working with. You should open it up and it should have on the simple modifications under the devices, it should have your new 8-bit DO02 gamepad. And then I'll do a little graphic or something hopefully here so you can figure out which button is which. I have pulled up the accessibility keyboard to make this a little easier because I feel as though um, it's a bit hard for me to visualize what the buttons are doing and then what I want them to do. So hopefully this helps, but essentially I, and then also some of the maps online are wrong or at least to my controller. So that's why I like to kind of do it myself. So, okay. So I am going to start from scratch and show you how I did it. Um, so hopefully this is a little bit more helpful. So you don't just like see a bunch of stuff, but Essentially, I pulled up the accessibility keyboard that shows you when you press a button exactly what button you're pressing. So it kind of helps you figure out where you want your different functions to be. So I'm going to start with the like X, Y, A, B functions because those are the ones I use the most. So I hold my remote like this and my thumb kind of naturally rests on this X button. So when I press X, you'll see that that is the letter I. So knowing that, I want that to be my space bar. So I'm gonna go and go to letter keys and then change the key that is I and change it to um, this space bar. And I use the space bar to flip cards and to say I got a card right. And yeah, that's pretty much what I use the space bar for. And then I'm gonna check. So after the space bar, I really like I, I, I use the again button a lot as well. So what I like to do is I have this be if I get it right, this be if I get it wrong and I wanna do it again. And then this will be if it's really easy and I don't wanna see it for a while. So, so I'll press Y and see where it shows me. So that looks like H, that's the H button. So I'm gonna change my H. to the number one because on Anki, these down here, again, hard, good, easy, correlate to one, two, three, and four. 
So if I want to hit again, it's going to be the number one. Okay, so we have the space bar, one, and then I'm also going to make easy the top button here. So I'm going to click the top button and see where that is. That's J. So I'm going to change J to the number four. That is the easy button in Anki. And then I don't really use the hard button that often, but um, because I love hitting again, which is probably not very good, but um, I just will make this last button here, the B button, which is actually G, um, the hard button. So G, and I will make that the number three is hard. All right, so now we have spacebar, which also is number two, which is good um, in Anki. So that's why you can kind of just like click it a bunch to say that you got it right. So spacebar, again, easy, hard. All right, now is where it kind of gets different. Okay, now um, I'm going to do these buttons at the bottom. So this is something that you only need for Onking, uh, the latest version of Onking, when they have like the toggle options. So to toggle through your options is this button here. But to toggle through the options, you have to click N on your keyboard. So I'm going to change this button to N. So that's E. So I'm going to change E to N. But I found that when I'm actually clicking that button, sometimes I'll click these other ones, like, cause it's not super, it's not super distinct which one you're clicking. So I'm also going to make these buttons do nothing. That way, if I accidentally click it, it's not gonna like freak out on me. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm changing E to N. And then I'm going to change this side key, which is, see, so you can kind of like click in between them, which is really annoying. So this is, this left is C. So I'm going to change C, oh, C to, and then disable this key. So nothing. And then I'm also going to make this one, which is D. Goodness, D, and I'm going to disable that one as well. And now we have pretty much all of our uh, like response keys to answering the questions. But then I also I also know that I love to like scroll through all the explanations. So I'm making these I made these trigger keys scroll keys. So let me figure out which one it is. So if I click the left trigger, that's K. So I'm going to change K and you can um, have that mouse keys. I'm going to scroll down fast and then I'm going to change this right one, which is M. Okay, so now this is going to be scroll up fast. That way, so this is what I'm, I'm holding it, right? And if I want to scroll up, I'll click this. And if I want to scroll down, I'll click this. And that's, I think, yeah, all of them. So um, let's see how it works on Anki. Now I'm going to turn the card over with this. And let's say I got it right, so I'm going to click it again. Now let's say I do this card, I turn it over, but I get it wrong. And I want to see it again in however 15 minutes, as it says down here. So I'm going to go to my Y button, which is the one right below, and click again. And then I'm just going to keep doing that. So turn it over and let's say this one is super easy. So I'm going to click this top button. So that's easy. Um, and then I'm going to show you how the scroll works. So if I click this, actually there's nothing to scroll on this one. So I'm going to click again. I'm going to click good. So this one I can scroll through, right? So I'm just going to scroll. I'm going to press this and it scrolls down for me. And then if I press this, it scrolls back up. I've really loved this um, setup. 
if you can't tell. <laughs> I'm like super jazzed about it. Um, click again. I just want to get to one of the toggle ones. So I'm just going to click again until... Okay, so this is one of the new types of cards on Onking, which I found really annoying on the old Anki remote format that I was using. So that's why I made this new one. So first, it's it's like a toggle. So you're just like toggling through them. So that's when I just go down, down, down. Like I click down, toggle, 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 toggle. How many times can I say toggle? And as you can see, this is the end button that I was mentioning. And you just click, 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 and you get through all of them. And then if you get it right, say, great, got it right, good. And then if you don't, you can just click again. And yeah, that's the, the newer part of all of this, um, like this new format of this Anki mapping that I really love um, is this incorporating this toggle. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, that is all. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's like kind of strange to be like clicking through flashcards and stuff, but I figured with the new Onking version, it's nice to have like an alternate format so you can be like almost like completely off your laptop when you're like you don't have to touch your laptop you can just be like clicking away i really love to do anki while i'm like walking on a treadmill it just this makes my life so much easier and i like can get a lot of cards done at once if my attention span is working with me <laughs> so that is basically my little formatting mapping of this this bad boy so I hope that was helpful. Feel free to subscribe if you think that this was helpful or if you want to see more content from me because I will be posting more content. Um, I love everything. It's like, here's my pitch. I love everything medicine and art and technology. Um, the intersection between all of those is where I really thrive. So if you love any of that, Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, that is all. That is all. Thank you. I'm gonna have a hard time editing this video. Too many. <laughs>